Hello everybody, this is Mega Amster. Welcome back to the A Link to the Past Amps Plays. So this is part 36. Last time in part 35, we um, made it through quite a bit of the Turtle Rock dungeon. Um, we explored all the rest of the rooms. We got the mirror shield, which is the dungeon item. And we made it to the boss. Uh, his name is Trinex, apparently, and which makes sense because he has like three heads. And we couldn't defeat him, but my strategy was the correct one, which is pretty awesome. I like it when I'm right. <laughs> but, um, what you're supposed to do is because obviously one of his necks shoots out fire, kind of like the fire rod, and the other one, what am I doing? Sorry, I meant the hook shot. This, I want to stun him. And the blue uh, neck shoots out like ice, like the ice rod. Now, you're supposed to use the opposite rod on, like, the opposite neck, so the red neck, so the, <laughs> the red neck, I'll use the, um, the ice rod on him, and that will, and that will uh, stun him, and then we can attack it, and use the fire rod on the blue one, so, you know, it kind of reminds me of, like, the concept of the boss kind of reminds me of, like, Twin Robo from Ocarina Time, not completely, but pretty close, um, there we go, trap that guy in there, oh jeez, never mind, I was not trapped anymore, uh oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Balls. Nice. Arrows, I don't really need the arrows. Uh -huh. I could use some hearts, though. Or not. Whatever works. Ah, are you serious? See how many hearts I can get. I would like to get several hearts. I don't know if I can though. Um, crap. There we go. Nice, got a heart. Okay, I didn't really do anything good. Oh shit. Okay, there we go. Let's move up, and let's get back to the balls. Let's use Canis Samaria, create a platform here. Boom. We're looking okay on hearts, but remember, we have a potion that we can use. I don't know how long this part's gonna be, because it's, uh, I don't know. I should probably go after the blue head first, because what the blue head does is it creates these platforms that... Um, oh. Okay, there we go. Oh, Jesus. Nice, see, just like that. Um, yeah, this guy, this guy right here likes to shoot out his head at me. Jesus. Nice. Hey. That's, it's not done yet, though. It's not done. There's another phase. Also, slow down. Oh, jeez. Now, I'd say that... I'm gonna whip on my cape. Do that. Oh! Jesus. Avoiding this guy is kind of tricky. Crap. Whoa, is that it? Don't tell me that's it. I think that's it. Okay. Well, crap, we're not even that far in the park. Well, and this is gonna be a really short part in that case. You know what? No. My bad. You know what? We can actually explore a little bit. And by that, I mean get potions. <laughs> But yeah, so here we go. Here's the final sage. I think that's is that Z I think that's Zelda herself. I appreciate you coming so far to rescue me, as I thought you are the legendary hero. I have felt this from the first time we met. Yeah, it's Zelda. Ganon is waiting inside of his tower to pass through the gate linking the two worlds. 
Once Ganon enters the light world, it is unlikely that anyone can stop him. But if he stays in the closed space of this world, you can find him whenever or wherever he runs. Now, go to the Tower of Ganon. We will use our combined powers to break the barrier. Let's return peace to this country without to the country without fail. Do you understand? Yep. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. You know what I just realized? We never used our uh, other potion. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Well, that's done. That did not take as long as I thought, but whatever. Um, look at that, we have all the sages too. We have pretty much all these items. So we have... We see we still have a red potion. What I'm going to do is, uh, first of all, let's go to the light world. And uh, if I can find out... Whoa, nope. If I can find a safe place. Oh no! You piece of shit. I had a feeling that guy was gonna do that. Yeah, let's get some potions. You know, this isn't gonna take as long as I thought it would. Um, you know what I'm wondering though? I'm wondering if. We have plenty of rupees. I'm wondering if we can get another free medicine of magic from that fairy. But let's buy at least two of these. Because we're definitely going to need these for Ganon's tower. Like, definitely. I'm going to see if there's a way for me to not spend the, um... You know what I mean. Like, not spend money on getting the Medicine of Magic. Um, but, yeah, let's... Should I warp? I guess. Might as well. Yeah, let's go to my house, why not? How's how's my house doing? How how how's that? okay, this is good. Oh wow, you got all hearts in here, that's good. Uh excuse me. You know, I never found a way to upgrade my bombs. I don't know if it really matters at this point, but you know. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, son. Let's just try heading to the castle, I guess. What I want to do is... Back in part 33, we got a free medicine of magic. Um, we got a free one by dropping it in that little pond area. I don't know if we can get another one for free. Or You know what? No, screw it. 60 rupees is nothing. Because we... I forgot. We have to probably... Just get, you know what? No, I just want to check it out. I just want to see if it'll even work. It might not. If it doesn't... Which, I would be Why can I- Oh, I'm a dingus. I'm an idiot. Ah! Trying to think, where's the nearest warp point from here? You know, let's just head back to, uh... The Death Mountain area, we can warp from there. Whatever works. That's, we need to kill some time anyways. Right, we gotta, we gotta kill some time. Is it worth going through all this trouble, though, is the question. You know, screw it. Because we're cheap. We won't, you don't want to spend money on our medicine. Let's see what happens if I do this. feeling it's going to take way longer than it needs to. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Yeah. Screw it. I don't even really care if it works at this point. It's just, it's going to take too long now that I think about it. Let's just get this. There we go. Okay. I don't, what does the blue one do? Does that like increase defense or something? I feel like it maybe it does that. Um, now let's head back to Death Mountain. This part's still gonna be shorter because there's literally nothing else we can do right now. All we can do is head to Ganon's Tower, which uh, we need to be in the Dark World for, so I gotta 
head back to the Dark World. That'll take a little bit of time, I suppose. Um, let's have this old guy heal me. Because he's awesome. Okay. But we pretty much have everything we need. I mean, I could probably, like, maybe, like, upgrade, like, maybe get more bombs, but I don't even know if I really need more bombs at this point. I think we'll just... I think we should be okay. I'm not gonna lie, Turtle Rock was honestly one of the better dungeons, I think, so far. It's interesting, the later dungeons... Uh, okay, I'm talking about specifically the Dark World, the Dark World exclusive dungeons. Okay, so there's seven of those, right? I'm not including Ganon's Tower. The later ones were the better ones. Like, Gargoyle's Domain, Turtle Rock, Misery Myra's pretty good. The Ice Dungeon was fine, except for the Ice Physics. That, if you saw my video, I uploaded the Rage video. Uh, yeah, you saw that. But besides, besides that, besides the physics of, like, the ice and the placement of those fire bars, the ice dungeon wasn't terrible. I thought the later dungeons in the Dark World were better than, like, the earlier ones. Like, the freaking Palace of Darkness still has to be my least favorite one. Okay, so this is the Tower Parable, obviously. But the Dark World counterpart of the Tower of Hera is actually Ganon's Tower. So what we need to do... is, uh, let's go back to that warp that was over here. There was a warp from earlier. I think we can do that warp just from over here. I believe we can. Should be able to. I don't, I don't see why we can. You okay? You want you, 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 yeah? How about screw you? There you go. Uh, <laughs> this music never gets old, though. Gotta watch out for these guys. They're gonna hit me. I know they are. Okay. No, they didn't. That's good. That's good. Head back to the Dark World. So yeah, this part's still gonna be shorter than some of the other ones. Um, just letting you guys know. Because we're literally almost done. Let's see what's under here. Oh. Where does this lead? I'm gonna explore anything? Apparently I can't use my, uh... Apparently I can't look at my map in this dungeon? Okay. Ooh, what's that? Whoa, we got 50 rupees, look at that. Oh, crap. That was bad. We. Yay. Rupees are fun. Can I even... Doesn't even look like there's anything else I can do. Oh. I keep forgetting that. Whatever. Let's head out of here. We got some rupees, but that's not really gonna help. It just looks cool, because we're pro... Uh, we're professionals. So, whoa, what the heck are these guys? Wait, I can just block all projectiles now? That's awesome. Well, pretty much. That's awesome. Get wrecked. Oh, I see. I couldn't. I didn't block those because I was swinging my sword. Okay, that makes sense. See, this is Ganon's tower. Link, we are going to break the barrier of Ganon's tower with our power. We're also going to rhyme while we do that. Boom. The barrier is broken. And look at that. We now have entrance to the tower. I'm pretty sure we're all set, honestly, um, with this. Let's head up into the tower, first of all, just to see. We're not starting this yet, definitely not. Oh my! Oh my! Uh, I have a feeling this is going to take a while. Um, well, hopefully not. Maybe there's, maybe there's just not a lot of rooms and just a lot of floors. Um, maybe only like a few rooms on each floor, I don't know, but... Oh, uh, hold on. You can listen to this music. I'm gonna check out the- I'm gonna check the guide just to make sure, like, I just wanna be 100% sure that there's nothing else we can do before we start this dungeon. Uh, 
spooky. But yeah, we're almost at, we're very close to beating this game, guys, so. What was this? This was part 36, right? I'm estimating that this playthrough is going to have 40 parts. Um, I mean, we're on the final dungeon. It just depends how long it'll take. Uh, yeah, we're we are on the final part. I don't know. I think there's anything we can do before we get into the tower. If the guy'd like to load, please. I gotta remember to save and quit after this, because if I don't, I'm screwed. Because <laughs> then, oh, the whole turtle rock will not be saved. Probably should have done that earlier. I'm pretty sure we're all set. Let's see. Oh, it's yeah, okay. So that's all we can do. Um, you know, there's nothing to do in between Turtle Rock and Ganon's Tower. We just gotta do it. So, um, here, I'm gonna save and quit, and then we're gonna be, I'm gonna be done recording for today. There we go. Nice. So, that was it for this part, guys. Overall, in summary, we finished the Turtle Rock dungeon. Honestly, if I had known, I could have beaten it last part, but you know what? Who cares? Honestly, who cares? <laughs> um, if you guys care, then literally just stop caring, okay? Oh, what the heck is going on? Okay. But, yeah, overall in summary, we finished off the dungeon, we beat Trinex, that boss. He didn't really seem too hard, he honestly didn't take many hits, which surprised me. I was kind of surprised by that, he was honestly one of the easier bosses out of the dungeons in the Dark World, so... He was even easier than Moldorm. Um, and then, obviously, after that we filled up on potions, and we just went right to Ganon's Tower, which is pretty much right next to the Turtle Rock dungeon, so... Next part, in part 37, we will be starting Ganon's Tower and probably beating this game by part 40, that's my guess. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Like this video if you like what you saw. If you want to keep up to date with this playthrough or any of my other um, videos that I do, like I do a lot of unboxing videos, then you can subscribe and then you know when I upload. Comment down below, tell me what you liked about this part, what you didn't like, what you think it can improve on overall in terms of like quality or just anything else like that. And like I said, next part, part 37, we'll be starting Ganon's Tower, and we'll be on our way to beating the game. Um, I'm guessing 40 parts at the most. I could be wrong though, it depends on how long that dungeon takes, and then it depends on how good I am at the final boss. <laughs> um, yeah, actually, now that I think about it, the only Zelda game, see, I really haven't beaten many 2D Zelda games. Um, like, top-down ones, I mean. So, like, the only the only one I have beaten would be Link Between Worlds, which is pretty much the remake of this game, and honestly, I haven't faced regular Ganon that much in 2D games, because I just haven't beaten a lot of them, so... Yeah, that's pretty exciting. So, that's it for now, guys. Uh, I'll see you next time. Part 37, we'll be taking on... Uh, we'll be starting on Ganon's Tower. I don't think there's a dungeon item in that game. If there is, I guarantee you it's the light arrows, but the thing is the silver arrows are already supposed to defeat Ganon, so I don't know. I don't think the I don't even think so. But that's it guys, so um Ooh a Ganon. You know what? We haven't even seen a Ganon in a while. You know, is he even a threat anymore? Like literally. He looks like he kinda looks like King didn't he kinda look like King DDD? Oh it's a triangle! Is it Illuminati confirmed? Yes.